What's up my finables? Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a whole try on on a brand new line from CoverGirl and it is the full spectrum line. Now this line is geared towards medium to deeper skin tones. I think that is amazing. There's a lot of good standout products in here but there's also some misses for me. I hope you guys appreciate my honest review because this video straight up was a little bit of a struggle for me to film because I did. I struggled with foundation shade. Certain products were a little bit patchy but then there were some that were stand out. I was just playing around with almost every single product. I wanted to show you everything in the line. So I hope you guys really appreciate um, everything that I filmed today because it took a really long time. I've been sitting here for so many hours and just looking at everything, swatching behind the scenes and all of that. But you guys will see everything go down in this video because I'm sure it is very, very long. I swatch a lot of stuff in this video just so you can really get a good grasp of all the different shades that are in this line if you are interested. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, become a part of the Fine Apple Tribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and my vlog channel is What Would Lizzie Vlog. So now let's get into this try on. Okay, so let's dip into the eyes. I'm going to prep my eyes and all that in a second, but I wanted to go through the palettes. I'm looking at my card right here that they sent me and I have four different palettes right here and it says that there's three different finishes. There's matte, shimmer, metallic, and the shades I have. Let's see. Let's go through them. Well, they retail for $9.96 to $13.49. I'm not really sure why the price difference and why they would kind of charge it differently. That's kind of confusing to me. Like, oh, but this one's a really good palette, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive. I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. That's kind of weird. But reverence. Let's do some swatches because... These are supposed to be like super pigmented. It says that they're color rich eyeshadow palette with eight vibrant shades designed to vividly pop against medium to deep skin tones, giving an easy to use kaleidoscope of colors. I'm just gonna do some finger swatches. I mean, I am gonna play around. Wow, whoa, I like barely dipped in. Wow, <laughs> wow. Okay, let's dip into here. Oh, wow. Okay, let's hit that gold because I haven't done like a gold lid in a while. And then let's see the cream. Okay. So let's do some swatches, bam, 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 and then the cream. Ooh, sorry, these weren't like the best swatches. These are super, super silky though, right there. I mean, you can't just base them just off of like hand swatches because I'm sure they're gonna lay on the eye really well because look. Next up I have the palette Posh. Those look really, really nice. Soft and romantic. This one is called Zodiac. Definitely want to make sure I swatch that blue. Look at those colors. They look so pretty, especially that gold. That looks really, really pretty. Even this blue is really stunning. And then the last palette I have is Gravity. This is the palette right here. Definitely want to dip in that blue. Since this one, I know what the other one looks like. This one looks just like deeper in shade. Don't seem to swatch as nicely. Oh, that charcoal one did as nicely as the other ones and I don't know they look a little bit more dull compared to the others and I'm not talking about like tone because yeah they are darker in tone but they don't look as pretty or as vivid I don't know I think they look really pretty in the pan and then when you see them swatched it's a little underwhelming right so I would have to say like right off the bat just from hand swatches themselves gravity is not my favorite next up let's go into the eyeliners look they have a really fun yellow one so color enhancing and deep shade precision this all day eyeliner gives added definition to eyeshadow and style to let you go from day to night with one defining makeup look available in six shades I'm going to swatch all six for you just on my hand and show you but what's really tossing me off is like the price it says $6.92 to $9.49 why is it like different? That's what I don't get. Like, are they charging more for maybe the black shade because they know that is gonna like maybe sell more and maybe less for the shades that people might not use? Okay, so I'm gonna do live swatches because gold metallic, it's just like, are you there? I thought it was gonna be way more vivid, right? Because I mean, the packaging is so bright yellow, right? It's so bright yellow and vivid and you're just like, are you there? <laughs> I don't know you guys, I'm not trying to be negative, but that was really underwhelming and I have to say what I think. So let's do this green one. This one is called Electric Green. So you would think, okay, electric already with that name. That one I pushed down a little bit harder. Okay, this one is a little bit more vivid. I'll give it that. Let me try to swatch the yellow and push down hard. Let's try to give it a real fair shot. Mm. 
Yeah, I tried. Now for sure, this purple has to show up. This one is deep purple. Yeah, they're very, um, I mean, they're very creamy, but they're very faint, which I don't think this would really show up. I mean, it has a beautiful pink glitter in it. I don't know if you guys will even see that. It's like, well, not a glitter, but an iridescence. It's so faint though. I mean, it's a pretty color, but I don't think that this would really be ideal for medium to deep skin tones. It's going to be black is black, so you better be black if you're gonna say black is black, right? Right there. It's black, but I don't know. I feel like when you do like a light stroke, it looks charcoal and let's do a really deep. Okay, when you layer it, it's much more black. Deep blue. Let's do a swatch right here. Again, very pretty colors, just very, very faint, but I love the shade. It's really pretty. I might try to use this like as an eyeshadow base for the blue. I don't know, I'm trying to get some creative insight for all these shades. And then the last one is a silver, and this one is silver metallic. I would say this one is the most vivid. This is what I expected like the gold to be, just, you know, obviously in the gold shade, because this one is done right. Okay, so let's get on with the eyes. I take the cream from the Reverence palette, and I'm gonna set my whole eye with that one, and let's see how this baby's gonna work. Nothing that's overly pigmented though. Has a really nice soft finish, doesn't look powdery, so that's always good. I think I'm just gonna dip into this brown right here and just blend it in. Ooh, super soft. I'm loving the blendability of this shadow. That is really, really nice. Just by placing it, you can tell right away that it's gonna be an easy shadow to blend out. Now I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and go back into that cream because I kind of brought it up a little bit too high really want to try the shadows from the Zodiac just because they look so pretty. This one's pulling a little bit more orange with it. This one's just like a true gold. I think I just want to try, I want to try both. <gasps> wow, that is really pretty. Look at that. I'm going to try the other yellow just so I can see what it looks like. Oh, that's really pretty too, but let's try with the finger. Yeah, that's more pigmented. I think I'm going to go for like the more orangey shade though. I kind of want to see what the yellow will look like dabbed right in the center. Wet it with some Fix Plus and let's see what it looks like in the center. Ooh, now it's really showing up. Just to kind of give a pop in the center of the eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I definitely see that pop right in the center. I'm like, Posh Palette. And I want to try like this deeper, this deeper shade right here just to kind of define the outer V and see how this is going to work. So now I'm just gonna work that on the outer V and then I'll just blend that out with my crease brush. That deeper shade that I used from the Posh palette really isn't my favorite. It's not that pigmented. Once I started blending, it really kind of blended out. So I'm gonna try this deeper shade from this palette. This one is the Reverence, the first one I used. Let's try this deeper shade. Quite a bit of fallout once I dipped in. I don't know if you guys see that. Kind of went into the other brown shadow. <sighs> okay, yeah, this shadow is much better. And I did switch brushes, but I could just tell that shadow was just not it. Back into this brown because I don't want to miss that warmth. I still want to bring that out. I just want to intensify it just a little bit more. I really like that lid shade though. It's really, really pretty. But I feel like I'm getting some sort of B vibes, right? Bzzz. I take my Cila liner and we're just gonna do some wing liner. I did try CoverGirl's active eyeliner. They just released that. It's like a waterproof liner. Go watch that video and then you could see my review on that. I didn't even say what video, sorry. It was my trying new affordable products and I just posted that two weeks ago. I'll link it down below. Okay guys, so I went ahead and added liner and some, just like some Demi Wispies from Ardell. So next we're gonna move on to face. I have the Matte Ambition Primer right here. This is for, um, it says it's a mattifying skin primer and it has sunscreen SPF 20. It feels like their smoothing primer, but I definitely smell the sunscreen in it. Except they have their Matte Ambition Foundation. I'm guessing this line is maybe geared towards more combo 
oily skin to possibly normal just because they have the matte primer so now they have the matte ambition online Alta already has it up and it says designed to bring out your truest tones matte ambition all day foundation from full spectrum is transfer resistant provides all day comfort with oil absorbing powders for a natural matte foundation finish so it's gonna be a natural matte so I have the shade medium medium golden so I'm hoping this will match me Sigma sponge so I have that right there Maybe I should have just like swatched it. Oh yeah, that looks like a pretty good match right there. I feel like everything's been oxidizing on me though because I did find the e.l.f. concealer oxidized and then also, what else was it that I just reviewed? I don't know, there was something else that I reviewed that oxidized so let's see if it will. I mean, I can kind of already start to kind of place it. It looks like it's gonna be okay though. They do have cooler tones. I like more warm, and I usually go for more warm or neutral. Stay away from my under eyes because I just like one layer of concealer there. So I just kind of go around it. I have a little bit of a friend here, and look, it's already covering it up, my little scar. That's from picking at my face. Ugh. Should have never done that. Okay, yeah, this definitely oxidized because it looks much more on the warmer, warmer side. Not completely orange, but I would say warmer. I'm going to try medium cool three. I'm going to show you the shades right here. They have medium cool, medium cool two, and medium cool three. So they have three cool shades. One, two, and three. This one does look the most pink out of all three. And then this one looks actually kind of warm. So I'm going to try three and let's see how this baby looks. Be swatching my finger. Okay, yeah, and that is too dark. <laughs> So let's take that off right there. So let's try medium cool too. That is kind of more on the pinky side, so that doesn't look that good. I find that with CoverGirl foundations, I do have a hard time finding my shade. And I think this one's just gonna be too light. So let's try this one. This one's medium cool one. Let's see. Medium cool one. You know what I could do is I can mix medium cool one with the medium golden and I think that's just going to balance it out. Whenever I have foundations from CoverGirl, I always have to mix. Unfortunately, they don't have like my perfect shade, but um, I've been pretty good with like certain foundations just having like my one single shade, but I guess we got to mix today. Medium golden and then medium cool one. Right there, I'm going to mix a little concoction together. Okay. We'll see, I just did equal parts. I mean, I feel like it's gonna oxidize in a little bit, so I know it does look light compared to this side because look, that really warmed up. I mean, if anything, I can use medium golden, but there's just such a distinguished, you know, difference in color compared to my chest. I kinda like it better with the sponge too. I think it looks more airbrushed, so I'm gonna go back to the sponge. I'm not really enjoying a brush. I feel like that actually matches me way more, you see that? Compared to this side, it looks a little bit too warm and this side definitely matches me. So if I ever want to use this foundation and I'm exactly this shade, I have to do medium golden and a medium cool one. I don't know. We're just going to do it. We're going to place it all over and we'll balance it out. Okay guys, so I went ahead and let the foundation kind of set and as you can see, it really oxidized even by adding the cool. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it. It looks more in like the golden orangey side, unfortunately. I don't know, maybe next time I'll just try just medium cool. So next up we're gonna go into the concealers. So I have light medium and also medium neutral. So we're gonna try these out. So it says brightening pigments, neutralize blemishes, hyperpigmentation, and dark circles, medium to full coverage concealer that lasts all day and it's oil free and suitable for all skin types. I'm gonna start off with the light medium because just by looking at it in the package, it looks a little bit darker, maybe because it is part of the full spectrum line because it is medium to tan skin tone, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of, because look, that, us that usually looks like a medium to me, so let's try one eye. Oh yeah, that is pretty, pretty dark, but it feels so smooth, like super silky of a concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out, so this will be like more like an everyday concealer for me because it's not that brightening. It's basically blending into the foundation. Okay, so there's one layer, well, kind of like two layers of the concealer. This formula kind of reminds me of the Naked Skin from Urban Decay because it's that lightweight. 
It feels really nice and thin, even lighter than the Urban Decay, actually. It reminds me of almost like the Fit Me and the Urban Decay. I don't know, just the texture of it because it's super creamy and lightweight and thin in formula. I will say, though, I had to layer it again because with my sponge and it's not even that wet, the pigmentation is kind of going away like every time I blend it. So you just have to be careful with that. But I would say it's like a medium. See, it looks really nice though. The only thing that's tossing me off is like the foundation is definitely too dark for me. So that's just one thing that is just kind of off. But the concealer seems to look really good. It looks like it's good for every day and it's not going into my fine lines already and it's not creating fine lines. So it's really nice and thin. The only thing is that this is the lighter shade. This is the light medium. So this is darker in tone. So if you are getting, if you are planning to get like a concealer from this line, it's running a little bit darker because like I said, this is for medium to deeper skin tone. So that's probably why they have it like that. Okay, so I actually just found the shade Light Golden, so I'm gonna do a swatch on my hand and I'm gonna see how it oxidizes because I think this would have been my perfect shade because I didn't see this in the box, this shade, because I was looking through them again and I feel like this might be my shade. Let this kind of oxidize. Okay, I'm just adding my own Tarte Shape Concealer in light medium just so I can brighten underneath my eyes just because it's just looking a little bit too orange in tone all over the place. So I wanna like balance out my face, see? I really needed that brightening. I think once I like highlight the rest of my face, I think the foundation won't look as bad. It's not that it looks bad, it's just that it's just the wrong shade. And I'm still waiting for this one to oxidize and I feel like if anything, I should just use this one because I think it would have been the best pick. Okay, so I went ahead and highlighted like the rest of my face. Oops, also highlighted my lip apparently. So that looks much better. As you can see, it kind of balanced it out. I think that this shade would have been perfect for me because now that it oxidized, look, it looks like my chest color. You may not see it, maybe not on camera, but this would have been perfect. So the shade that I would have been is light golden. So if anything, I would definitely bring it down a notch. I think this would be my perfect shade. So now I'm looking a little bit more balanced, right? So we're gonna go into some contouring. So now they have a contour kit and they have the Contour and Correct Expert Versatile Cream Palette. So I could have necessarily like kind of canceled out my dark circles with this, but <laughs> I didn't think about that. But this is a great range, especially for deeper skin tones. You rarely ever see palettes like this so this is really good that they are adding this I am trying my hardest to really match myself because right now I am NOT the most tan I'm not brown biscuits and I can't wait I really want to self tan I've just been a little bit on the lazy side but I can take the darker shades to kind of contour I think I'm gonna go in with I like more of a warmer contour so I'm not gonna go for the darker one I'm gonna go with this one right here oh I'm kind of mixing with the concealer it's okay I'm gonna go with this one right here. Oh, that one looks like a good shade. And I'm just gonna contour all around. I'm just placing like very little. I'm not the biggest on cream contour. I usually just like doing powder. And every now and then, like if I do cream, it'll be like over in this area. I'm gonna start blending this out because I'm not sure how it's gonna work. Because sometimes when you put a little, a little goes a long way. Oh, see, that looks really nice. I also wanted to show you in this palette with these other tones, like say for this one, this orange can really cancel out dark circles. This one is really good for deeper skin tones. A lot of this can do some brightening of the face and to kind of highlight. Like I said, I unfortunately am not that tan right now, so some of these shades are not matching me, but I think this is a great line for anybody who has just been struggling with finding a certain shade. So I think that this is really good that they came out with it. So this is probably a product I would recommend just because it didn't blend out weird. I can tell right away when I like a cream and this one is it even though I just used it around the perimeters of my face it's very easy to work with okay so next up we're gonna set the face um, I have powders right here and this is the full spectrum powder and this is the matte ambition all-day foundation now I was going to use light neutral but then they also have light medium golden I'm looking at it, I think I'm gonna go with the neutral just because I find that I just I just went up too high in shade, just so I can try to neutralize the powder, or my powder foundation, I mean my liquid foundation, sorry. And I think if I set my face, this will kind of neutralize it a bit. I just don't want it to look ashy. This is what I'll usually do like if I go too dark. I'll just get like a lighter powder and then I'll neutralize all around. all around. That is looking much better. Do you guys see that? Much, much better. I totally picked the wrong shade, sorry guys. I didn't know it was gonna oxidize that much. I think it looks really good. I kinda covered up my contour. I mean, you can see it peeping through, 
right there. But I feel like, I don't know. I don't want to bronze too much though, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. But I think it helped neutralize my face. So now we're going to go into the Sculpt Expert. And this comes with a highlight and a blush. Two highlights, as you can see right here. This one's a really nice peachy one. So we're going to swatch these. Blush Touch. So we're going to do a swatch of the blush. Ooh, it's a very sheer blush. Oh, wow. Those highlights are freaking stunning though. Like I totally disregarded the blush. I'm still gonna try it though, just so I can see what it looks like. They do have two other palettes. This one right here and this one. Let's swatch them all, cause that's why I have them obviously. So love this blush right there. It reminds me of like Cinnamon from MAC. And then here are the highlights. I think they look really pretty. I have to admit though, I really love the highlights from the first palette with this blush. Here's the blush shade. Ooh, a nice deep berry. Ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. Oh wow, the highlights on this one are really nice. I even love that blush. Look at that. That's gonna be so beautiful on deeper skin tones. I'm gonna try the peachy one. Oh wow, that is, cause it says it's like a sheer blush, but this is like a beautiful sheer blush. Look at that. <gasps> That is really, really pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go into, let me get another brush. I look intense on camera. <laughs> Sorry if I like put too much. So now we're gonna go into this blush. And this one I'm really excited for. I'm gonna put very little because it does seem pretty pigmented. Okay, that looks really pretty, but I noticed it went on really patchy. It's like not even blending and you see how it's getting weird. I'm gonna stick to this one because I think this looks stunning. So let's just try to place that right on top. I might look a little bit ashy in this area, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work, people. But I love this cheek. I think it looks so pretty. I don't think it goes with my eye look, unfortunately. I thought the burnt blush, the deeper burgundy would look good, but that one went on really weird. Shoot, I have like two different colored cheeks. <laughs> now I'm gonna take one of these highlights. Ooh, I'm gonna take this one because this one was really, really stunning, this peachy one. Let's see how it goes on. Wow. Let's bring it on this side. <gasps> wow, that is like super intense. Maybe not a fan brush, maybe like a regular highlighting brush so I have more control. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Ooh, this cheek looks a little money, but it's okay. This is a whole try on, trial and error video. I'm gonna take the lighter one, bring it down my nose. Wow, these are super intense. These are not to be played with. I'm, a, I, I'm putting... Yeah, I need to calm it down. I do find it very light though, if this is for like medium to deep skin tones, because I find like even if I was more tan, it might look a little bit too stark, because even on my skin tone, I'm not even that tan, and I find that it's like pretty intense. I don't know, what do you guys think? They sent me a purple, a deep burgundy, a ruby red. Then I also have like this lilac like color right here. <laughs> I was looking at it, maybe this one right here, like a deeper shade, marooned. All right, so I have the lipsticks right here. Let's try this one. I like how there's micro glitter in there and you can't feel it. The only thing that I don't really care for is the taste of the lipstick, but this looks really pretty. It does go with the look. I like it. Maybe not my blush, disregard this because I was trying to test out the different shades. Look, I took off the lipstick and it left like a, like a stain of glitter. Look. You guys see that? Okay, so now let's try this lip gloss. Mm, I think I like this, just to add like a pop, you know? Ooh, I really like this. Yeah, like I said, it feels almost like tough going on. Not really, not like tough, but not the smoothest. It's a little bit thick, but then when you feel it, it's thin. I don't know, it's a little confusing to me, but I really like this color. This shade is called, what is this called? Believe Me. You guys know I always like a pop of highlight, so I'm gonna go back to the Zodiac palette and I'm gonna go into this shade right here just to add a little pop right on my inner corner. Ooh, this one looks really pretty right there. I think it's completing the look. I'm not even kidding you guys. I was sort of panicking like behind the scenes looking at my face like, what's going on? But I feel like this pink is so fun. It's like tropical vibes, right? Let's go on a safari <laughs> because I have like my headband and I don't know, the olive green. <laughs> I'm gonna be your tour guide. No, but for real, I, your girl was panicking. I'm gonna add a little bit at the top of my brow bone because I think this would be really pretty just to highlight that. 
Ooh, because I think it's tying in with this highlight right here. It looks really good. Okay, I'm enjoying this look much more now because I was straight up about to scrap the video and stop filming once I hit that blush, but it doesn't look as bad. So let me give you some tips and tricks. If you ever feel like your, your cheek just looks kind of like one blob, um, what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of translucent powder and I'm gonna cut my cheek, not literally cut it, but like sort of bake it. And I think I just need more definition because that bronzer's not really showing. And I think because this looks so muddy, it's just like going all over. I just need more definition. That's what it is. What I also want to do is I want to dip back into this shade again. And I want to wet it with some Max Fix Plus and see how metallic this goes. Because I really want to see that pop. Okay, yeah, that's really pretty. I like it wet. Make it really glowy. Oh, I love that. I think that looks so good. You guys, I love an intense inner corner because I feel like it just brings light to the eye, you know? So now I'll just kind of like sweep this away. See how it's giving my cheek a little bit more definition? Because I feel like I kind of took that bronze contour away, but okay, we did it, you guys. We did it. What do you guys think? Let me know. I think I saved the look. I'm not gonna lie, this was such a struggle to film because I was looking at it like, wow, this looks really ugly, Lizzie. What are you showing these people? <laughs> I think the look turned out really good and I love this pop of pink with like this kind of like bronzy eye. I think it adds like a really nice pop. What I'm loving are the cheek products. Now that I went through all the products, I kind of want to go through each thing just because I was kind of struggling and I really want to give a fair chance to everything. When it comes down to the palettes, I really did enjoy them. I think I love the Zodiac the best and then also the Reverence. As far as the Gravity one, I was just feeling it and kind of looking at it and it's just, it's very dull and not vibrant and it looks prettier in the pan. You guys could see from the swatches, everything wasn't as beautiful it looks as it looks in the pan because I think it looks really pretty but probably my least favorite and this is the one that swatched the worst. I also think this one is really good. It's really like soft, like soft and romantic, the posh one. I do like it. I was swatching it behind the scenes and kind of looking at it and I really do appreciate it. Now when it comes to the eyeliners, these are pretty, pretty disappointing except the silver one. I think the silver one is definitely worth getting. As far as the gold, I don't know. I don't really see it like, I don't know. I just don't see this really being utilized or being that beautiful of a shade. Um, it's just too light in pigment. For the foundation, it was a little bit hard to find my personal shade. Like I said, I am not the deepest in skin tone right now, so I get it. Uh, but I think um, the oxidization and all of that, it kind of tossed me off. But all in all, I think I'm going to have to use light golden and then just bronze it from there because it'll just be much easier. Once it oxidizes on my hand, I think that's the shade that probably would have been best for me. For the palette though, the sculpting palette, I think this is a beautiful palette. The creaminess of this concealer feels really nice. Like I truly, truly appreciate these shades. I think they're just stunning. Very creamy. Let me swatch the deepest one. Just... I don't know, I think it's a really good quality palette and I think a brand really needed this, so I think this is great to have on the market. Now when it comes to these blushes, this one was my favorite for sure. I didn't try, um, I mean obviously I didn't try the highlights, but I think the highlights are the standout point for this product. Um, this one does swatch really nice. This one applied pretty patchy though, but my favorite was Blush Touch. I think it looks really nice. The highlights are stunning. Super silky, not powdery. They're laying on the skin like a beautiful glow. It looks very high end. So I will say this is probably like one of my favorite products. And the powder was nice too to neutralize. I think it looks um, airbrush, soft focus. I really like it. I, I can see myself using this. I mean, I think I balanced out my look really nicely. The gloss feels really nice. It's not too sticky and not too thick. And then as far as the lipsticks, I just don't like the taste of the lipsticks, but I really loved that bronze one that I tried. Um, all in all, I think the look turned out really good. I hope you guys appreciated this video. I just love testing out these products. I think it's good to have a struggle because I find that people don't really show the struggle all the time on YouTube, and it's good. Like, this is the whole point. Like, you're supposed to learn. You're supposed to say how you feel and the truth about certain products, how you feel, how they work, and 
if you find them user friendly and you want to show the struggle and you don't want just like, all right, and this is what I got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the struggle with me. I love you pineapple so much. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up if you appreciate my honesty and all my products and product reviews regardless of PR and whatnot. But I love you pineapple so much. I will see you in my next video. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and my vlog channel is What Will Lizzie Vlog. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me, trying to find something to believe